Welcome back to Alec TV. Uh, I'm Tom McLaughlin once again, and I'm here with Jason Bedrick, the policy director for EdChoice. How are you doing today, Jason? Great. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Uh, glad to, glad to have you here. So EdChoice is a uh, school choice org, correct? That's correct. Awesome. So going into school choice, it's a pretty uh, <clears throat> everywhere. It's always a hot button issue. Always kind of a big topic on the on the front lines of public policy. So uh, just off the top, what can you tell me about what, about school choice this year? School Choice has had a really good year this year. There have been eight states that either passed new programs, uh, that, that would be Tennessee and Florida, uh, and then six others that passed um, expansions to existing programs. Oh, that's awesome. Very cool. So uh, can you give me some highlights, kind of just like what states, what states are doing those expansions and what's really making them good? So both Florida and Tennessee passed uh, a new voucher program uh, that are for low-income students, and Florida low- and middle-income students. Florida has the largest school choice program in the country, about 100,000 students participating in their tax credit scholarship program, but they had a wait list of about 14,000 students. So this new voucher would actually help uh, 18,000 low- and middle-income families access private schools of their choice, and it, it's going to grow every single year to keep up with demand. Awesome. Is there a reason why uh, school choice is so big in Florida compared to other states? Florida, I mean, ever since the 90s, has really been uh, one of the, the states on the frontier of school choice, especially under Governor Jeb Bush. Um, they passed uh, the state's third tax credit scholarship program. They passed uh, the second education savings account program. Uh, and they, they by far have the most students participating in a private school choice program in the country right now. That's really neat. Um, on the flip side of things, are there any states that are kind of lagging behind or, think, or areas where you can see or may have states uh, do better in this, in this area? Sure. There are, there are 29 states plus Washington, D.C. that have some sort of private school choice program. By that, I mean a, a voucher program, a tax credit scholarship program, or an education savings account program. Uh, I would say most of the states, these are very limited programs, they're for students with special needs or they're for a small number of low income students, um, but uh, they are growing over time, but there's a lot of work left to do. So I wouldn't uh, identify any one particular state because I, there are most states really have a lot to do in this area. I would point to, on the uh, positive side, uh, Arizona, Florida, Indiana, these are the states that are really leading the charge on school choice. Very cool. Um, and what about innovation? Uh, you, uh, we were talking earlier and you mentioned about how a lot of school choice is really entering a new innovative phase. Can you kind of expand upon how uh, school choice is really on the front lines of innovation? Right, so we're really moving from school choice to education choice and uh, with the education savings accounts or ESAs. Uh, so these are different than uh, like college savings plans, like which are also referred to as education savings accounts, like the 529 plan. Right. Uh, what we're talking about is K-12 uh, education savings accounts where a portion, usually about 90% of the state's portion of per pupil funding, instead of following that child to their assigned district school, is instead deposited into a private bank account that can be used for a variety of educational expenses. Huh. So tuition, just like a voucher, uh, but also tutoring, textbooks, homeschool curricula, online learning, and any funds that are not used that year can be rolled over from year to year for later expenses, even for college. So. I see, was it was it Ted Cruz who was talking about this maybe a year ago, two years ago? Ted Cruz has sponsored legislation at the federal level to do this in Washington, D.C. Uh, and also uh, there are those who have, uh, I believe, Senator Tim Scott uh, filed legislation to do ESAs for military families. Uh, also, we had uh, the late Senator John McCain uh, was, was an advocate of uh, uh, education savings accounts uh, on Indian territory through the Bureau of Indian Affairs. Very cool. And I actually have just one more question for you. Um, if you could say one thing to legislators out there who are working on school choice issues today out in the states, what would you tell uh, state legislators working on these issues? Once states enact school choice, uh, they never uh, get rid of these programs. Once, once families have access to educational freedom and they're able to customize their child's education, they fight for it. Uh, this is something that they really care about and uh, I would strongly encourage legislators to embrace what families want and give them more educational freedom. Awesome. Hey Jason, thank you for your time today. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Appreciate it. Keep it right here for more Alec TV.